was a head-to-head -head finish near the waterfalls. That was a pretty easy win beating a lower level vehicle. Now I wind up getting a Audi RS7, one of my favorite vehicles in this game. There's someone right here in this pyramid area. Let's get into a head-to-head. -head. I think I might have thrown the whole thing away, so I have to play catch up and try and get through the rest of this without hitting anything. Which I did. It was pretty uneventful, so I won't show you this race. I wound up going on to win and leveled up into a Ferrari P4. I'm going to circle back around on them and engage in a head-to-head, -head. and it's good I did. It's a slower vehicle, a humid bikini. Well, I like bikinis. Well, I was distracted by that gamer tag. All right, I threw the lead away. Let's get a clean run through the rest of this here. I see the bridge that crosses the expressway here and that's a good route to take. I'll take that. They go left of it towards the greenhouses so that'll slow them down. I'll get the lead back here very very quick. help but be curious about this bikini. I like bikinis. Alright, great. Lamborghini, Murcielago. Now let's get into a head-to-head. -head. There's a car here. And they've got the jump on me. Actually, this BMW X5 is a really quick level 4. I think it may be the quickest level 4, but they're heading into the trees, I think, and I'm going to go left of the trees. I see this dirt road that is up here just past that. On the right is a ridge that I can jump off of. As I level up these trees over on the left, I am going to sit on the edge of the woods here in this Hoonigan Focus RS RX. I'll park behind this brush so I won't visibly be visible, but I'll also be opaque on the mini map, which means I'll be invisible on the mini map and wait for someone to come this direction, possibly finishing a head to head. And that happens. Here's a vehicle you can see just ahead on the right. Now that I start moving, they can see me on the mini map and they start heading towards me the wrong way from where a head to head would lead. So off we go. I should be able to beat them if I can get through here cleanly. Arena shrinking! I go straight through these trees as you can see and they're heading left down the road circling back so they didn't pick a very good route here. 
Let's see. What does it offer me? I don't know about these gamer tags. Okay, I'm going to take the Lamborghini. It handles a little better at higher speeds than the Funko F9. Head to heads complete. Get ready for the final showdown. Final showdown begins in 30 seconds. I like to park just this side of this intersection. You can see the leading edge of the arena is on this road in arena seven i would leave it 18 to 20 seconds arena six you can see the leading edge is off road so i will leave it 20 seconds in this lamborghini centenario This is why that they try bumping into me knowing I'm in a faster vehicle. It's part of the game. Final showdown in three. on this road and right after it opens up here on the right I'll veer to the right go around these trees veer to the left and get through this greenhouse area hopefully without hitting anything As I get farther up here, I'll see the dirt road that winds up on the mini-map. I want to kind of be close to that route. It is a clear route with fewer trees. Well, that wound up being a good clean run to the finish here and a good wind. Subscribe, please. Just click that link on the bottom right.